Today we are talking about Persephone again. There was actually a massive update to the information that we have on the upcoming goddess. And I don't know why, but it's somehow really hard to find. It's a post on Smite Data Mining, that's where the information is from. But somehow it's really hidden and isn't found directly through the front page. So I don't know how many of you have seen this, but I think it's definitely worth discussing because I think there's some very, very interesting stuff in here. And again, I already talked about this in the last data mining. I'm very much looking forward to Persephone because I have hopes that she plays somewhat similar to Zyra from League of Legends. And if that's the case, it's going to be fantastic for me personally because I love that character. Persephone is Hades' wife, not so voluntary in a sense. And she is, on one hand, the goddess of the underworld as well, but also the goddess of fertility. And what comes with that is kind of a plant theme. And we can see that even more with the new update to the data mining here, because there is a lot of information that, again, indicates certain things surrounding plants, surrounding growing things. And they sound really, really cool. So let's get into it. First of all, what was already stated last time is that Hyrus is testing a new relic with Persephone like something that may only work for her. Some people have proposed that this might be Hand of the Gods somehow making a comeback. I don't know if that's going to be the case because so far we don't even know which role, which class we're talking about here. But it's going to be interesting if that actually made it into the final version of Persephone anyways. Her basic attack is a projectile and also has Harvest for Ability 2. We get to Ability 2 in a bit, which has a lot more new information. The fact that it's a projectile indicates that it's probably going to be a ranged character and that most likely makes it a mage at this point, in my opinion. We had a bit of a discussion going on if she could possibly be a hunter as well, because Oleron might not have been seen as a hunter, but Hyrus has now clarified and stated that Oleron is in fact seen as a hunter, so they won't be releasing a hunter all too soon based on that. And with the past four releases being Yom and Gunder, Sel, Horus and Ulran, we therefore have basically all classes covered except mages since Merlin. And following that logic, our next release would be a mage, as long as you count Ulran as a hunter. On the other hand, we also have a lot of mages, so I would imagine that guardians could be possible as well. Now, when it comes to passive, we have some more information. The passive is triggered with basic attacks or other abilities, Again, because the projectile from the basic attack apparently has this harvest for ability too. The passive gains stacks. And this is very interesting here. We already had this gold gain talked about last time. I actually missed out on certain gods having a gold gain implemented in their kits in some way. Notably Kali here, who gets gold as an assassin. But again, this could be a bit different here because it seems to be some sort of stacking gold gain. Because... What it seems to be is that you're possibly able to somehow sell seeds that you have or stacks and get extra gold. And I could imagine this being a very interesting gameplay mechanic. Maybe uh, these seeds are very valuable for her, but you can make the sacrifice of losing some seeds and getting some gold for items in return or something. We'll see. And we also have this seed gain separately listed again. In addition, the passive also heals now somehow, which makes me wonder if one of the other interactions was taken away. Maybe the gold gain was removed for the healing. Also, there is some note about regrowth, and it's my data mining speculated that you can possibly sell or harvest something and then regrow it afterwards. But we'll get to another aspect where the regrowth is also mentioned. The first ability also has more information. We know it has area damage, and it has a ground target. However, it has a primary ground target and a secondary ground target now meaning there must be two instances. This could be something similar to Poseidon Ultimate or to Pillay 2, where there's just different instances of damage or effects that are applied. But outside of that, there's way more now as well, which makes it really confusing. The ability has a summon FX and hit. This was already known before. But the new note is Persephone Warrior. I gotta say, initially that sounded a little bit weird to me. I couldn't really imagine that we're getting another god that summons so soon when we just had Set with the summons and we also had Hera not all too long ago. But who knows? Based on the indications that we have here, this might very well be a summoned warrior because what we have here is a cone attack on this warrior. He can somehow spawn plants. 
and he also has a charge which makes him charge into enemies. I was hoping it would be more of a attacking plant. I don't really see a charge going in line with that unless it's some plant like noir minion but I don't really see how that would work out. So I'm very curious what this turns out to be and I don't want to speculate too far on this one in particular. The second ability on the other hand is very much worth speculating on. So I only stated last time that there is a bite FX and then a following explosion and I was a bit confused how the two fit together. A lot of people in the comments of my last video actually pointed out that this may have something to do with the pomegranate that is closely tied to Persephone's lore. In the lore, Hades convinces Persephone to eat a pomegranate and therefore binds her to the underworld at least somewhat temporarily and then we get the four seasons out of that. It's a kind of a funny slash interesting story if you want to look into it more. Look up the lore Persephone and pomegranate and you'll find it. But what that means for us is that there's a good chance that the animation here is Persephone eating this pomegranate or a part of it and then maybe spitting out the seeds or throwing it away or something and therefore the pomegranate ends up somewhere else or the seeds end up somewhere else and maybe that's what causes the explosion as well. Maybe it's a seed explosion of the pomegranate. The ability has a ground target and it apparently also heals and it spawns seeds. So that would make sense in that context. There is a max count of 32, which could possibly mean 32 seeds, even though that sounds like a lot. And there are now three different plants. The plants are just named A, B and C. So we don't really know what they do and if they are the same plant that is gradually growing or if they are different plants with different effects. And these same plants also have phases or functions. And uh, four of those, the first one is spawn, then grow, then cultivate and then harvest. We know already that the harvest has something to do with the passive as well, so it seems like you can store the seeds. Now the question is if the two creates the seeds or if the two itself uses the seeds that you store as well and you kind of just recollect them all the time. Maybe you actually spread them across the battlefield and then can use them wherever you have more of them placed, similar to maybe Sylvanas plants kind of, just a lot more and less impactful on their own. But ability 3 is also tied together with this, so there seems to be a huge amount of intertwined direct uh, interaction between the abilities here, a large amount of very obvious synergy. So in case of the three, apparently you can use the three on the plants or seeds of the two and that allows you to cultivate those you target. So again that brings up the question if you have those three different plant effects and then you can decide with the three which plant you get or if it's the same one and maybe the three kind of activates them to grow. Again, this would be somewhat similar to Zyra, who uses one ability to place her plants and then other abilities to spawn plants from them. There's also an option to harvest the seeds from skill 2 with a 3, which it seems the basic attacks do too, so I'm not quite sure why both of that. Maybe this is easier or quicker or something for a specific outcome that you can reach by collecting them quickly. And the 3 also has a ground target. And then it says leaps into ground target. So I don't know if it's a leap into a ground target or something leaps into a ground target, not very clear. And a take off FX. So again, it sounds like she's actually moving. Maybe this is uh, Persephone's escape somehow. And again, it also works with the passive sex, but that kind of makes sense if it works with the two anyways. And then we have the fourth ability, probably the ultimate, that stands alone a little bit more. And that has a lot going on now. So it is a ground target deployable. And the description is a projectile that deploys a mesh or a deployable mesh that later spawns projectiles. The mesh is called tether and has a hit and tether FX. And the tether FX is played at the waist of the enemies. And you can probably figure out what that all means. This is going to be some sort of root and that is why it also has a root effect, something that grasps the enemies and wraps around them, basically. It also comes with a mark, and apparently there's a mesh that's spawned and fires projectiles and a tether, something like a circle orbiting at the player waist, and it should work like a mark for later effects. But on top of that all, it also explodes on target or hitting a wall. 
So very mushy in terms of what this ability actually does. We, we have some AOE effect that somehow roots enemies and that has an additional effect that maybe makes them take a mark that lets them take extra damage if they're affected by something or similar. But strangely enough, in addition to this information, there's also the fact that this skill starts out as a copy of Set's Sandstorm. And that one is very strange to me, especially with the ability being a ground target deployable. And the tether mechanic or what spawns it is the main thing in the ultimate. I'm not quite sure how it can kind of hit a wall as well. So what I'm thinking what this could be is some vines in the center or something that rapidly grow outward and if they hit a wall or an enemy they will root them and basically apply all these effects but i don't know how else we can get the ground deployable effect and the effect of hitting things or having an effect when hitting things or a wall in the same ability because otherwise if you want the effect you would just place it on a wall right away so i'm not sure how that's going to work but it's definitely going to be interesting as well Overall, all this additional information makes me even more excited for Persephone and I really hope she turns out to be a god that I actually end up liking a lot, like I'm expecting at the moment. I hope this was interesting and insightful. If you're new to the channel, feel free to click the sub button and maybe the bell, it raised me out. And if you enjoyed it, feel free to click the like button as well. Other than that, see you for the next one tomorrow. Duke Sloth, out.